My name is Eric Ruderman. I'm a rheumatologist at uh, Northwestern University at the Feinberg School of Medicine in Northwestern. Well, I think there are a number of highlights. I mean, I think that uh, there's a lot of interest in the field of rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, now we've had very good therapies for a number of years, and we're about on the cusp of some oral therapies that are as good as uh, or nearly as good as the drugs we've been using for a number of years that are all given by injection. And I think that's gotten uh, a lot of interest. Um, they're not out yet, but we're on the cusp of some agents in the next couple of years. And I think people are very interested in how that's going to change our management and where they'll fit in. Um, so we heard a lot of data on some of these agents here at the meeting, and that garnered a lot of interest because people are getting ready uh, to use these in, in clinical practice down the road, and obviously you can't do that without the data to understand how they work and how well they work. And the first of these is um, potentially something that might be available in about a year or two. I mean, so they're not real close, but uh, they have to go through the FDA approval process. Um, I think the first is potentially about a year away, uh, between a year and two years. And then there are several following after that. So I think over the next um, possibly three to four years, uh, there are two or three new agents that we're expecting to see come into the clinic and give us more in our pocket to take care of our patients with RA. So in lupus, there's a, there are developments. I think lupus is an area where we have been desperately in need of, of good therapies and, and safe therapies. Um, the big development in lupus in recent years has been uh, the use of mycophenolate, um, which is an existing drug, it's a transplant drug, it's been around for a while, um, but used to treat lupus nephritis, the kidney disease that comes with lupus. Um, so there's been a lot of data on that, and in fact at this meeting um, there's a working group, the ACR, that's developing new guidelines for the management of lupus nephritis. And they presented those guidelines here, they're still in draft form because uh, they're working out some of the details, but looking at um, what are sort of the best approaches to treating somebody who has new kidney disease and then maintaining them uh, after initial therapy. Um, the other interesting and exciting thing in lupus is some of the newer therapies. And so lupus is an area we've had a lot of biologic therapies in rheumatoid arthritis in the last 10 years. We're beginning to see some of that same research and some of those same things coming into lupus. So the first new drug uh, approved for lupus in years uh, was a biologic agent called belimumab approved this past year. Um, and there are several others that are uh, in development and we've seen some data on them here and I think that uh, people are very excited that we'll have more options for managing lupus than we ever had.